So several years ago, um, before I even had uh, the output window in sight, besides in, in studio, Maestri had added this to studio because I asked for it and he realized, hey, it's pretty helpful to be able to use that. Um, I had this resizable GUI just in case I had some text. So first, let me demonstrate if I run it here. Here's the hello world. I The default is 900 by 600. I could pass some parameters here. Let's say 300 by 500. And we run it so you can adjust it. But what's cool is you can drag and expand it, right? So that's the, the cool part. The default is 900 by 600 if we don't pass it anything. Um, and so that's, you know, it's great for small text, but what if you had some big text? So let's uh, comment that out. Yeah, oh, jeez. File, read. Up and far, wait, it's text, I think, is what we're shoving it into. And then, boy, can we get the file name of that path? I swear there was a... Uh, there we go. Should work. Let's see. Run that. So oh, there is now, and this is where I wouldn't want to have that smaller. Well, whatever. Let's just show it. All right. So this is, it's nice that if you have some text, you're not sure how big it's going to be. Um, I did a little pre-work here and found a okay. folder. This Costman thing has got, I think, amount of text in it. So put that path in here. So yeah, that's got a lot more text. Um obviously it's not a word editor, but um the fact that you can dump this any text into a resizable GUI in case you want to be able to scroll, right? It's just very flexible to have this thing built in and it's just a function in my library. So um yeah that's it. Like I said, I was working my way through my main scripts uh, to see what's what. Uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. And uh, also, I have alerts on my website now. So subscribe there. And I'm probably going to send them out like weekly or something. So cheers.